crap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse man, what it is going on? Everybody, it's Sports Live Train, and welcome back today, guys, to the channel for some Motorsports Six back again with some more online drifting we're gonna be doing some public hoppers for today and talking about something actually pretty big that dropped a couple date well it didn't exactly drop considering this post has been i think updated on december the third was when the information actually came back it recently just started flowing in circulation on social media the other day and that was the announcement of forza motorsport 7 actually being confirmed on fanatics form page now the actual people that were posting they were saying that they were meeting with turn 10 and uh, you know they were going to talk wheels and it's a huge thing right now we're going to talk about this for today's episode Ladies and if you would like to keep seeing forza 6 on the channel don't forget to slap that like button all right we are in looking for a lobby right now we have my beautiful cts sedan ready to throw down some slides but this article though as i said i will link down below it's from gt planet and uh, it was a huge article. It was actually from Fanatics CEO, and uh, they actually met with Turn 10 discussing the wheels and you know everything moving forward for Forza 7. So this may be the very first time that Forza 7 has been confirmed from a source other than its own company announcing their game. So it's very interesting. We literally just missed the countdown. Oh my God! The really cool part about this entire thing is that they are looking for feedback on the wheels moving forward now i don't know if they're looking for feedback on the design or the end game i looked through the forum and a lot of people were you know kind of touching base on the design of the wheel i don't think that they're going to be changing up the designs of the wheel i think they're looking more for in-game features to change or you know buttons and stuff like that so that's kind of where my list is coming from i've already made my own you know four to five things that i want changed for forza 7 which we're going to touch base on as well too but the biggest thing that kind of worries me, and they, we're gonna find another damn log, man. I'm, I'm not sitting here for six minutes. Ooh, shit, they're just finishing right now. But the thing that worries me, though, is that they are making some huge changes to the game's physics. Now, I'm not talking, you know, they're just kind of, you know, tweaking a few things. I'm talking a brand new person handling physics. Now, this is quoted from the actual form. It says there is a new person who is responsible for physics and force feedback. And there is a quotations wheel guy. He is a real world racer with car engineering background and very familiar with PC sim racing. Also said here, the PC market seems very important for them and they are aware that this market is dominated by wheel users. Therefore, we will intensify our cooperation and get the best out of the games for wheel users. Now, now the biggest thing that comes to my mind from reading all of that is are we still going to be able to drift? And you know, I really do hope that it's going to feel, if they do change the physics that much, I hope it's going to feel more or less kind of like a set of course it does on the console and PC and such. If they move it that way, it will be absolutely incredible. But my concern is that what if they bring it to more or less a project car styling where it's very kind of snappy, it's very strong on the wheel, and you're not really meant to go sideways in a sense. Now, I know obviously that, you know, I'm, I'm praying that's not what they're going for because they're going to lose a huge market of their buyers, but, you know, it would be something that, I mean, as I said, are we safe as drifters on Forza 7 with a brand new physics? coming down i don't know and i really do this hope for the best for us as real users i'd love to see them get more into you know proper wheel physics as we're drifting and that would just make all the difference and just would be a remarkable game moving forward now i pulled a comment from one of the forums before we start this race here this is from member 2872 and he goes the biggest problem with forza's force feedback is center zone feeling you can't get it to feel sharp Regardless of settings, there is too much floaty feel. Feels like you're disconnected from the front wheels, so that's first important. So, I completely agree with them. There is a spot where you are getting in to the center, and the force feedback just kind of, I gotta agree with them. I mean, moving back to center sometimes, the force feedback just almost goes away, or it'll kind of change direction. It's a very weird feeling. That's kind of why I brought it down to 540 degrees, because at 900, it is very, very hard to play and run a full 900 degrees of rotation, at least if you're trying to drift. And that's kind of where my sense is coming from. Obviously, I've been drifting in every single Forza, and so has a lot of other people. Right? But I feel the biggest thing, though, that needs changing with Forza in general. Now, 
as I said, my list is coming from things that are in-game, and I just remember that we're in a damn drift lobby here, holy shit. But, I feel though the biggest thing for me is the view. Now, if we go into cockpit view, which I do not want to do because it is absolutely ridiculous, a lot of cars are just not right in the cockpit, and it just it does not feel right, it doesn't look right, and you know, I feel like that's a big thing that needs to be addressed in Forza 7 is adjustability in your cockpit view. And I feel like that is one of the biggest things because I feel that the force feedback and the view goes hand in hand with each other and we need something that we can properly see through if we are using cockpit view. And that's one of the main reasons why I stopped using cockpit view a long time ago. Shit! Adjustability in cockpit view would be huge and a game changer. It really would be, obviously, as well too. I would love to see 900 degrees of rotation coming through in the driver's hands. Uh, we've been stuck with that disgusting 540 not even 540 man sorry about that sir jesus man my bad um it's been what like 360 degrees of rotation on his arms and that is about it man and we've been looking at that oh my god we've been looking at that for a long time son of a bitch man we got tagged on that and you no know, i feel that the wheel rotation is another big thing adjustability and wheel rotation um you know those are my two big things. If they can at least fix those for us, that is a huge step in the right direction, I feel, as wheel users. Now, there's a few other things that I did have on my list. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of the wheel, and that was the fact that the controller will die out. It'll just turn itself off if you are using your wheel, because obviously, there's no headset ability on the wheel, so you have to have your controller plugged in. And then in turn, um, you know, if you're not touching it for about, I think it's maybe like, what, 10 minutes? It'll just shut itself off. So that's one of the biggest things is that you're going to always have to really worry about it or just, you know, kind of keep track of it. Oh my, jeez, I would have had that, man. I would have had it at least on the longer races and such just to keep, you know, make sure that it's not going to just completely die out. Your wheel's not going to die out, but you're not going to be able to hear anything. And if you do turn your actual controller back on, it's a very bad lag that hits and it affects everybody in the lobby. So it's definitely not a good thing to be doing. Um, we just lost our points as well on that. We're 12th out of 19th, man. I'm not too happy right now. I'm trying to list you guys my points to improve as I'm in a damn public drift hopper. It's not the easiest thing in the world, man. I promise you. Now, of course, the main thing that I would love to see in Forza 7 is the ability to customize our face buttons that we are working with. Yes, we can kind of you know, change a few of the layouts and that's fine. But if I'm, say, using my shifters right now, if I have just paddles, I cannot look around at all. And it's a very kind of frustrating feeling when you're trying to see left and right, and you can't, man, because you got your paddles. How did I... No, nope, I... Okay, I definitely lost that. Son of a bitch, man. But, like I said, though, it's just you can't look left and right. If I wanted to look left and right right now, the only way that I know would be to touch the controller and then bring it around like that. But I think if I touch the controller, I lose all function in the wheel, unless that's only Forza Horizon 3. But that is an issue, and I feel, though, that that should definitely be addressed because, uh, oh, we good? Game clip, drift it away. Maybe put the two buttons right here so you can go left and right, because this right now doesn't do a damn thing, man. This button, nothing. It's non-existent, and that looks back. So, I mean, like I said, I'd love to be able to customize. We came in way too hot. But I definitely would love to be able to customize that and, you know, just change all the buttons around. Look at this guy going through the sides, man. Get it, sir. Holy shit. Man, die, though. Another thing is, um, as you're in replay mode, I've always noticed this, but if you are using a wheel and go to look at the replay, your driver's hands will be stiff as a board, man. They will not move whatsoever. And when you're trying to get some proper footage, it looks ridiculous, and I just keep overshooting this shit. Oh my god. Nothing's funnier or more frustrating at the same time is doing an amazing run on a wheel and going to get your replay to find out that your driver's hands are as stiff as a board, right? I mean, that is the most frustrating, funniest shit ever on this game, and it really definitely is, but, uh, you know, that's another thing. One other thing is a speed wobble at high speeds on higher force feedback. I don't know if it's just my setup or not, but sometimes when I am, you know, really going quick, say it down like Lamar or something like that, um, I'll just get a very high intense speed wobble if I let the wheel go. Now, I don't know if that is just the way that it's supposed to be or not, but it is definitely a weird feeling. Even when you're just driving straight, you can kind of feel it like this, 
and then you let it go and it just takes itself and it kind of does a weird mode. I don't know, man. I'm just just saying my problems. That's it. As I said, though, I mean, I don't expect them to change anything on the wheel's base. And I mean, personally, I don't really think that anything is necessary unless you are on the PC side of things. Because obviously, then you can get into, you know, the tax and stuff like that. But that's a whole different animal. I'm just talking strictly console myself. And, you know, that's kind of where I do most of my Forza-related gaming. And, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people on that forum were asking about handbrake support. Now, as of right now, there is a few people online that have a handbrake system like I do and a lot of people want that on their console and you know obviously if I didn't have this handbrake uh, you know I would be very frustrated with the game because I love using a handbrake and the fact that now it's not on a spinning base you know just the fact that I don't really see that coming to a console at all I mean I don't think that they're gonna be able to have that to work as a separate USB plug-in um, I mean, I've never really seen a wheel on console allow two USBs at the same time like you're on, say, PC. So, um, you know, if, say, they can find a way to allow a handbrake to go down on the console, uh, we're talking big money, man. I, I can definitely see Fnatic raking in some serious coin from this because obviously everybody is going to be going out and picking up a handbrake. You know, I myself included would be. That's 100 bucks, I believe, per person that would be picking that handbrake up. We're talking big change, man. We definitely are. And we're also talking other companies to then up their game and bring in a handbrake. And, you know, I would love to see some market competition going down and really seeing companies up their level of wheels to get to that next level of gaming. And, you know, I feel that, you know, 2017, 2018, we're going to start seeing some huge rigs starting to come out on the market. And it's going to be crazy. But, I mean, overall... We have Forza 7 confirmed. That's huge. We already kind of knew that was going to happen. I mean, it's been coming out every other year for a long time since Forza Horizon 1 got announced. So, um, you know, it's just something we knew that was happening. Now we actually have confirmation that Forza 7 is indeed in the works and in progress of being better than Forza 6 already. I mean, obviously, with the consumer input, that's huge. And if they're going to be diving now into the wheels... Um, you know, it's going to be a good year for wheel users. And I think if you guys don't have a wheel set up, start saving now. I think when I got my first Fnatic set, because that's essentially what I started out with first, was the Fnatic CSR package. And that was a good $650 almost shipped to my house. And, you know, I saved up for a long time to get that wheel rig, man. So if you're looking and you really want to do it, save up your money and get something that you want, man. That's what I can definitely say. But once Forza 7 comes around, oh my God, man. Once Forza 7 comes around, and if you don't have a wheel, you have had almost a year's notice to start saving your damn chain. We're gonna see what we do. Oh my, what the f- That guy just took damn flights, I seen that shit. I would love to make this video an open discussion, so if you guys have any requests for the wheel upgrades, leave them down in the comment section down below, and you know, who knows, maybe they're watching, maybe they're gonna see those updates, but you know, as I said, I gave you guys my list and, and just would love them to see the start take the time to really update the game for a wheel person's aspect. As I said, the biggest thing for me out of anything on that list is the view. The cockpit, 900 degrees, you know, just being able to move yourself around in there would make all the difference, I feel, in terms of, you know, a cockpit standing point. As a third person standing point, you know, for me, I usually drift in cockpit, any, or I usually drift in third person anyways, but... For me, though, the biggest thing would be able to remap my left and right and also just remap all the buttons in general. I think that would be a huge thing. Don't come off the track! I've always enjoyed Forza's Force feedback. And, I mean, obviously, it, it is different from any other game out there. You know, it's different than GT. It's different than... Oh, my God, this guy just ended up backing down off the tandem, man. Just stay in the tandem, sir! But it is really cool, though, to see how far Forza has come for the wheel users, man. I mean, I've been using a wheel on Forza for... Jeez, man. Um six years maybe it's been a long time since the first day i opened up that fanatic set but you know it's been a great time with the wheel and it definitely makes this game 110 percent more fun than a controller and you know, i just would love to maybe also see them take a note to wheel users against controller drivers and you know give us some type of advantage whether it be the clutch or something. i mean i don't know i just i do know that there is a huge advantage from using a controller during racing and a wheel and maybe with the new force feedback and you know the physics we're going to see that advantage you know maybe even go away or go in our favor i mean you never know obviously there's going to be some serious controller drifters 
and racers for Forza 7. But, uh, you know, it's just sky is the limit right now. And I'd love to know your thoughts about the entire situation. But, I mean, like I said, man, it's like an early Christmas gift to us. Forza 7 being confirmed for next year. Probably going to be around September time. You know, same as every year. And that's a huge damn... That's huge, man. That's absolutely huge. Seven motorsport titles, man. Who would have thought back in the day playing Forza 2, you know, Forza 1, wherever you started... You would have been playing all the way up to 7 with 3 installments of Forza Horizon in there as well. It's, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy to see where gaming has went to and where it can go to at this point. I mean, who knows where Forza is going to go, man. We really have no idea. My bad on that little tap right there, sir. I'm so sorry. But if Forza can replicate the Force feedback from a set of Corsa, man, oh my god. It's a done deal, man. It's absolutely a done deal. I just hope that we get a lot of our tracks back that we've been missing. Fujimi Kaido, I pray, makes a return to the Motorsports series. That would be absolutely huge and would blow everybody's mind, man. You would both, oh my god, the YouTube videos that day that that track goes up would be insane. Man. It would be absolutely crazy. Also, too, I'd love for them to fix the reverse entry damn problem thrown in a reverse entry and you lose all your points i mean i understand but i would love to be able to get points at least in a hopper standpoint right i mean shit oh boy this guy's a little bit slower try and get the pass i'm holding a damn large sir get out of way here we go here we go This thing is absolutely ripping right now. I did see a lot of people, though, saying about the handbrake, like I said, and just overall the strength of the force feedback. Obviously, I've said this many times, Forza Horizon's wheel force feedback strength is above Forza 6. Huge, man. I mean, above and beyond Forza 6. And, you know, hopefully, I mean, like I said, the new force feedback is something that just changes the game completely. And, you know, I would love to see how it's going to feel. Um, I just... I'm just excited, man. I want to play it. I want to see how it is right now. And that's really all that it comes down to, man. I, mean, I can definitely see a shit ton more Forza 6 videos coming down on the channel for drifting. I kind of got that hype again, man. Knowing that Forza 7's coming out with brand new physics, brand new force feedback, and a brand new person to code everything or do whatever they need to do. It is going to be a great year for Forza players, man. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments section. Like I said, man, it's a big day for us Forza fans. And I'm definitely happy to be on this damn ride, man. It's been absolutely crazy for however long it's been going. But, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. Leave me your thoughts on the wheel and your list of things that you want to see fixed. Now, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, holy shit, I almost forgot one of the most important things on my list of things that I want to see added in. And that is the ability to maybe start in first gear on races um you know a lot of the damn lamal cars there is a big issue with starting and you'll just stall the car right out and it usually is about one stall or so but um you know you just completely stall it holy shit and it just ruins your race man it definitely does especially when you are trying to go for a solid launch and there's nothing more frustrating than stalling off the damn line, man. That's my list, though, for today. Let me know yours down below. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you once again for coming around for some more Forza 6 on the channel. If you have made it all the way to the end of the video, please show your support by slapping that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, to put a slap train, I'm out. Peace. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what have you?